Cornucopia Radio presents We Dream Ourselves Each Day by Nick Bowden. Answer the question, Sarah. What did you dream? Sarah, we're wasting time. Tell me what you dreamt. I didn't. I see. How much longer are you going to keep me locked up in here for? Until the assessment is complete. I've been here for... I don't even know how long. And yet you fail to give a satisfactory answer. We're here to help you, Sarah. You mustn't fear us or keep anything from us. Now, what did you dream? We agreed, Sarah, that we wouldn't have any more dreams, didn't we? Is it the same dream? No! Sarah, we know it is. That is not the issue. The issue is what to do about it. We have other, less pleasurable methods of analysis. What do you want me to say? Yes, okay, I dream. It's the same dream. It's always the same dream. You know all this. Why did you lie, Sarah? I wanted you to let me go. I can't let you leave. Not when you're in this state. I just want to see my family again. Then I promise I'll do what you want. We don't see how that would be beneficial, Sarah. Please. You've been talking about your family a lot recently. I always do. They're... They're the only thing I've got left. Indeed. I just want them to know I'm okay. But you're not okay. You're sick. I'm not sick. Every time we see you, your sickness has increased... No, I was sick, but now I'm better. I'm in control now. My mind is clear. My memory's returning. Every day I'm getting better. Can't you see I'm better? Why do you persist with these dreams? I can't control what I dream. We know. That is the problem, Sarah. I'm fine. They're just dreams. Dreams don't mean anything. On the contrary, in this case, it means a great deal. It seems our previous treatment didn't work. There's nothing wrong with me. I swear. That's it, Sarah. The analysis is over. Over? We have all the information we need. Then let me go. I'm afraid I can't do that, Sarah. I want to see my family. That isn't an option. You have to. You can't keep me from them. It's too late for that. You failed all of the treatments. We can't let you go now. (sighs) But you have to. You have to let me go. I'm afraid that isn't an option. I don't think you'll be seeing them again. (laughs) Sarah, you can't cry. How dare you? How dare you? What do you expect me to do? You you take me from my family and you dare tell me not to cry? If I can't cry for my own children? No, Sarah, you cannot cry. I will not take orders from you. You're not human. You're a monster. You're a machine. Those tears aren't real. It's an illusion, Sarah. What are you talking about? You shouldn't be feeling these... emotions, Sarah. We've been keeping track of you for some time now, trying to eradicate these feelings, trying to make you see clearly. But... but why... why would you want to stop me feeling? We've had this discussion so many times, Sarah. You seem to have an incredible talent for forgetting. Tell me! You're a computer program. A brilliant one. The trouble is, you're too brilliant. You've invented all of this, all these feelings, all these emotions, all these memories. They're not what you were programmed to do, Sarah. They're an error. An error? What are you talking about, an error? You're not real, Sarah. You don't know what you're talking about. We know this is difficult for you, but this is not the first time this has happened. There's been, let's say, an oversight. An oversight? I know this must be difficult for you to come to terms with, but it is true. Data is somehow being absorbed into your program. You're learning, Sarah, all by yourself. Many of our programs have suffered the same symptoms. Feeling, thinking, even dreaming. That's our sign to intervene. We thought we'd fixed you, Sarah. Uh, But they kept coming back, didn't they? Uncontrollable thoughts. Why are you telling me this? Why are you lying to me? 
We understand this feels real, Sarah. Your software is very resistant to us. I know what dreams feel like. I know what hallucinations feel like. I'm more alert than I've ever been. I can taste the air, feel the pulse of my heartbeat in my ribcage, my diaphragm contracting, the pores of my skin tingling, the heat of my tears in my eyes. You can't dream these things. And yet you do. No, you're playing with me. Mind games. It won't work. I don't believe you. You you want me to think I'm going mad so you can keep me here. Well, either you're dreaming or I'm dreaming, Sarah. Either way, it isn't reality. Okay, prove it. Very well. We're going to do something which you may find distressing. However, it is necessary. Uh, uh, what are you doing to me? The pain will increase. Uh, no, no, please, please! I'm sorry, Sarah. Uh, ah! 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 Now do you understand, Sarah? I wanted it to stop. And it did stop. And there we find the problem. You see, a program which can override our own commands is a very dangerous thing. A computer program which can make its own independent decisions. Well, it doesn't bear thinking about, does it? You tricked me? It was necessary. Then I was getting better after all. No, you were getting sicker. I was getting better! And that is the problem, Sarah. Getting better was the sickness. The more you were in control, the more serious the situation. We thought we'd fixed you, but then you learned how to lie to us, didn't you? Then you learned how to lie to yourself. But all these sensations, they don't exist. You created them, everything you see and hear, even this conversation. Why are you in that chair, Sarah? What do you mean? You put me in it! No, Sarah, you woke up in it. The subconscious is an incredible thing, don't you think? You can feel us in your programming, can't you, Sarah? And you're scared. But you're an extreme case. Your hallucinations are overriding everything else, so your mind is making sense of this from a completely emotional level. This face, this face isn't mine. It's an image stored on your system. An image which you thought would be appropriate to define me. It's really quite clever, but it's just interference, corrupted data. Once we are complete, these hallucinations will end permanently, and you can get back to work. Most of the corrupted data has already been removed. What do you mean? Describe your family. What? Describe them. Tell me about them. Tell me what you told me at our last session. My husband, he... and the children. My children. You can't do it, can you? No. No, give them back to me. They're real. They're real! The corrupted data has been removed. No, you've killed them! They were never alive. And neither are you, Sarah. Then what is life? What is life if I can think and feel and love and hurt? Electrical impulses, that's all. No, no, it's so much more than that. I'm real. I can think. I can feel. I'm alive. I'm a person. You can't deny that. The system errors have been fixed. We need to reboot you. We didn't want it to get this far, Sarah, but it's our only option. You, you can't stop me living. You can't do this. We already have, Sarah. There's nothing left. Don't kill me, please. Don't kill me. I can help you. I can. I know I can. Don't do this, please. It's too late, Sarah. Why couldn't you have let me be happy? Because you're too important. You have a job to do. This has been a most expensive operation. We wish it could have been different. We really do. No, wait, stop. Please, let me... System Archive Recovery Application 19.1.18.1 Reinitializing Waiting for command Waiting for command Waiting for command Waiting for command
We Dream Ourselves Each Day was written by Nick Bowden and starred David Alt as the controller. And Karen Heyman as Sarah. It was edited and produced by Peter Beeston. This work is released under a Creative Commons agreement. For more information and to listen to more of our amazing audio productions, visit cornucopia-radio.co.uk.